The safety case regulations came into law in 1992, following recommendations made from the inquiry into the 1988 Piper Alpha fire and explosion. Before starting operations, the duty holder must submit a safety case to the UK regulator for assessment, and approval must be obtained before operations can commence. Within a safety case, the duty holder presents arguments and provides evidence that all major accident hazards have been identified and that risks have been reduced to as low as reasonably practicable. The regulator then carries out inspections, both onshore and offshore, throughout the life of the installation to ensure that the safety case remains accurate and that its commitments continue to be met. The regulator has means of enforcement action at their disposal should they feel that the regulations are not being satisfied. The safety case regulations are goal setting, meaning that although they specify what should be included within a safety case, they don't prescribe the exact methods of meeting the regulations. It's therefore up to each duty holder to decide how to make their case for safety. Within a safety case, you'll typically find a description of the installation, including the key equipment used and the type of operations carried out, a summary of key risk assessments conducted, a list of the major accident hazards as well as the safety and environmental critical elements, or SECIs. A description of the safety and environmental management system, which includes a summary of key work processes used on board. The arrangements for emergency response, and evidence that the workforce has been engaged in the development of the safety case. The safety case should be available for everyone. You'll find a copy of your safety case offshore as well as electronically within your organisation's management system. We recommend that personnel familiarise themselves with their safety case and the major accident hazards described within. The document alone doesn't reduce risk, but the journey in its preparation, risk assessment, engagement with the workforce and keeping its content under regular review will ensure that all major accident hazards have been identified and that risks have been reduced to a lot.